so beautiful here. We are in Ballandine, which is south, <clears throat> south of Stanthorpe, I know by about 15 minutes, so not very far. Pretty much it's winery country. Um, you can see winery over there. There's like 20 of them over there. <laughs> They're everywhere, which is ironic because I don't drink wine. <laughs> but it's very pretty. There has been the most magical sunset behind me. I don't know if it's still going. Ooh, I hope you can see it. It's been amazing. Very, yeah, very vibrant. And I just didn't know where to look because sunset, and then there was a double rainbow over there. So I'm like, sunset rainbow, sunset rainbow. I don't know what to look at. It was just like a nature's magical gift. It was, it was beautiful. We're very lucky. We have made it to Giraween National Park. Um, which was oh, about 10 minutes drive from where we were staying uh, in Ballandine. I think we're in Wybera now, I think that's the suburb. Um, so this place is known on the Granite Belt for its amazing boulders. Um, just the amazing scenery, something very different. And we're going to explore it. It's a bit cold as you can see my, by my thick beanie and a very thick jacket. I think I'm dressed more than anyone else here but I feel the cold so whatever. <laughs> um, so I think there's about five tracks or no there's more than five. It's probably about ten tracks to choose from. Here's just a little bit of the tracks. I'll just show you. So there's all these different tracks to choose from. And I assure you, we will not be doing the 11 kilometer walk today, <laughs> or probably ever. <laughs> So we just wanted to show you that Stanthorpe isn't all apples and wineries like we kind of thought it was. Um, we just saw this really cool little upcycled crafty shop on the side of the road just I think north of Stanthorpe. Um, just touring the area and we thought let's go in. It, it's called Bridget Bunchies and I know it looks really intriguing from the outside so we're going to go check it out. Uh, welcome to Bridget Bunchy. This is my little wonderland. I started this shop four year, three years ago uh, with just my label. So the things that I make are these scarves and some of the things over, over here. And I was travelling around doing markets and just making my own little things in a camper van. And then I decided to come here to Stanthorpe in the Granite Belt and uh, just visit family for a Christmas. And three years later, here I am, and I've got twin daughters that are three years old, and we now stock work from over 70 local artists. So it's grown quite a lot in the last few years and become a bit of a wonderland of uh, gorgeous things. We stock predominantly things made from recycled materials, so all through the shop you'll see cool uses of um, materials. There's lots of nooks and rooms to explore. We've got a free craft room, a cupper corner, Bohemian lounge. Um, yeah. Random doll's heads. Yeah. <laughs> random doll's heads. Yep. <laughs> Let me have a look at that one. It's just a random doll head, but yeah. Apparently they used to hang in kitchens. So oh wow. Yeah. Do they have a purpose? Can I don't really. Well, some of them have like. There's one there that's like a double head as well, and I don't oh, really know. Yeah. They're quite old, oh. the doll's heads. But. Okay, next stop, Stanthorpe Cheese Factory in Thalimba and it's a Sunday so I'm not sure if they're actually making cheese today but there's a um, cafe which is apparently very popular called Jersey Girls and we'll go in and see what we can find. And they're in the cheese factory. Check out the cow. At the cheese factory. Milkshakes, five dollars. Real free. Jersey Girls. This is the factory. Tasting galore. Lots of people very happy. Very tiny. Jam. Meat. So here's some of the selection. Cheese tasting. Yum. Okay, we're about to go into the glass studio. 
it's just off the New England Highway and blink and you will miss the driveway so look out for it um, we've heard very uh, cool things so we'll go in and see what we find Hello, welcome to Glass Shop Condon Studio. Uh, my name is Brian. I'm a third generation glazier. Uh, so th for three and a half decades I ran a glazing company in Brisbane. Now though, I do glass art, um, which is far more enjoyable and um, it's great, I really love it. Um, the sort of artwork I do is called glass fusing. So I use electric kilns to manipulate my uh, glass into different forms that I want it to form. I like to push the glass probably a bit further than a lot of people because um, that's what I like to do. So uh, yeah, I've been doing this now for four years. Um, built a studio, purpose built for this. And I'm having a great time and enjoying meeting lots of different travelers. So uh, yeah, thank you anyway. <laughs> 